Across regions of Montana, typically blanketed in snow, unusually dry conditions have persisted. And all things considered, we've seen a dry winter. And what that could mean for the spring ahead has many concerned. November, December, and the first half of January turned out to be very dry. On February 1st, which is about the halfway point through winter, 92 of our snow tail sites that measure precipitation were either at their record driest or their second record driest. So we developed a significant uh, deficit. As of now, the precipitation in north central Montana is 30% below normal. Meteorologists have attributed the atypical weather patterns to a number of things, including the shift of climate patterns in El Nino. We've talked about it before, but what does a weather pattern in El Nino mean? In simple terms, it means the warming of the Pacific Ocean, which produces warmer winters and less precipitation to the forecast which is why we saw such an unusually dry winter this year. It's going to be difficult to achieve everything we want to achieve in terms of replenishing if we're going to have below normal precipitation. The bit of precipitation we have received has brought some reprieve, but not enough. The question now is, will the precipitation this May and June be enough to get us back around average before the dry months? The answer is probably not. So we're going to have a few systems and improve it a little bit, but the odds of us getting back the deficit that we're in of 30% is most likely not going to happen. All hope isn't completely gone for next winter's precipitation. If we can make it through November without being significantly below normal, we have a, a, a reasonable chance that next winter at least have normal to if not above normal precipitation. At least statistically showing there's an 80% chance of that occurring. Next year's winter in La Nina will promote a wetter and colder season, which will aid recovery from what's gearing up to be a hot and dry summer. Hope for the future still remains strong. In Cascade County, Brianna Juno, MTN News.